Over 50 years ago, LJ Wing invented the integral face and bypass coil as a means to protect the other coils and components in an air handling system from freezing conditions, while still maintaining proper steam operating conditions. Due to their precise temperature control, face and bypass coils became a desirable tool in tempering outdoor air. The LJ Wing design has worked well through the years and developed a strong following among engineers and contractors. As equipment manufacturers began to produce smaller packages, LJ Wing responded by introducing the direct-coupled face-mounted actuator, saving as much as 35% of the space required in some applications. When originally designed, all of the linkage and the drive package was external on the end of the coil, and it required approximately 20 inches for the hardware and some space to access it. About five years ago, we introduced a face-mounted actuation system. The actuators and the drive is located on the face of the coil rather than at the end of the coil so that no space is required at the end of the coil. So you can put into a, an air handler, let's say, you can put more coil into the same area. Face and bypass coils are particularly attractive to air handling manufacturers because of the mixing that is achieved in a very short space downstream of the coil that allows them to put the next component downstream of the coil without being fearful of getting a blast of cold air that would either freeze the downstream component or set off a, a nuisance free stat trip that shuts the system down. LJ Wing has listened to engineers' concerns about problems with systems with wide temperature demands and requirements. Wing has introduced the MV Integral Face and Bypass Coil, a patentable new advancement that increases air temperature without danger of freezing condensate. HVAC systems must, of course, be designed to handle the maximum load, and yet the bulk of the operating cycle of most all typical HVAC systems is at part load conditions where many systems are operate less efficiently. For a preheat coil, part load operation occurs as a result of two different items. One, in VAV systems where the airflow is reduced, or two, as the outside air temperature rises above the design point in a standard system. The MV coil uses two distinct circuits in combination with the traditional face and bypass dampers. The circuits are now split 55-45, with four columns of coils, followed by a second row with three columns. Wing has long offered two and even three row coil arrangements. The MV uses two manifolds, allowing complete shutoff of the second row of tubes during mild weather or under the low heating demand conditions sometimes found in VAV systems. By controlling two separate manifolds, the first set of coils protects the second from environmental damage, freezing. Having two manifolds also allows the use of simple, slow-acting, on-off steam valves instead of more complex modulating valves used in single-coil designs. As with the original design, the use of a modulating valve is uh, not required nor recommended because under certain conditions, a modulating valve call, can cause freezing of the coil if it reaches a, a stall condition. The resulting smaller size of the components further reduces the material's costs, size, and weight of the unit. When controlled by separate, slow-acting two-way valves, the MV produces exceptional temperature control without the complication and expense of modulating valves. The headers each carry less flow, so the individual valves can be smaller and less expensive. Under full load operation with dampers fully open, all air is directed across the coils. Should the outside temperature rise, the dampers incrementally close, allowing some air to bypass the coils and creating turbulence that promotes downstream mixing of warm and cool air. Should the need for heat drop further, one row of coils can be completely shut off, and the dampers reposition themselves to direct an appropriate airflow over the coil face. The first row of coils can be operated under maximum pressure, removing the possibility that the volume of steam may drop to damaging levels. 
In water systems, the first row ensures the second won't freeze without the expense of high levels of glycol. Dampers stay open longer such that the two airstreams that are mixing are more equal in size and temperature. In the original design, when you get very close to the set point, face dampers almost close so you have only a thin stream of hot air mixing with a much larger stream of unheated air. Here the two air streams with the MV coil are more equal in size and temperature and as a result are easy to control. The new damper position helps to eliminate establishment of laminar flow that might occur using only the dampers for control at very low air flows. The first set of coils may be continually operated at a high volume, removing the possibility that the volume of steam may drop to a level that might promote freezing. The second set of coils may be completely deactivated until required volume or temperature rise exceeds demand for the first set of coils. The wing coil is very ruggedly designed, you know, it's heavy duty construction. It's why they last seemingly forever. Um, we do get requests occasionally to replace coils. They want to know if we still have the design parameters they were installed more than 30 years ago. Now they're looking, they want one just like the one they had. Of course, the MV coil still includes all the features that have made the wing face and bypass coils the standard of the industry. Easily cleaned flat plate fins that are mechanically bonded to the tubes for maximum heat transfer efficiency. Extruded cold roll steel blades allow wing coils to make a consistent quality blade seal in bypass mode. Low friction nylon damper blade bearings provide smooth blade operation with no lubrication ever required. Of course the MV has ARI certified performance. The new LJ Wing MV coil is available in a vertical tube configuration covering 56 sizes that handle up to 77,000 CFM of outside air.